Hello guys, I know it's been a couple months and I did a video, but I actually have been trying to put in some work and make a new video. So basically, I've gotten to the point where I just have to talk about what happened in the clips. So let's just roll the video and I'll just describe my process throughout. Okay, so basically I start off and I do a random type spinner I just need a type to pick pick whichever one came first I got fire loaded up my Pokemon Emerald ROM most of this video is going to be in like time 10 speed if not more at least just because I want to keep this video as short as possible which ended up being like 30 minutes anyways so basically to start off we can only get six Pokemon max, and that's really stretching it. Um, and you guys will just see him as we go on. It's Pokemon Emerald. We started off, Professor Birch is just telling us the gist. You know how every Pokemon game starts. Uh, basically, are you a boy or girl? Boy. What's your name? Ginger. Pretty simple. Keep it real quick for this. So we load up. And we're finally in Little Root Town. Uh, we have to go through the whole annoying beginning process. I got this part way sped up. Basically, honestly, when I started this challenge, I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to get it done. I mean, think about it. The first gym is rock type. And the level cap is 15, which means we can't evolve, which means no fighting type moves. So we're going to need some really good RNG for this. Basically, um, you know, I talked to May, she's just doing her own thing. I just picked Torchic. I kind of skipped through that part. Uh, talked to Professor Birch. Also, I tried to do just a standalone image of each of the team members, but I couldn't get that to load properly. It just ended up blurry. I'm not exactly sure why. So enjoy the little gifts while I beat up every trainer in this road. So this guy sent two Wurmple to kill him pretty easily. I'm trying to, hopefully this audio lines up right. I mean, from a couple seconds behind, it's fine. So yeah, we're just beating up every trainer on this path. No issues, we're a fire type. Then we go and we talk to my dad in a second. We're just going through every little thing. Dad talks to Wally. Wally needs to go catch Pokemon, catches a Ralt. You know, we've seen the gist. He actually catches it. Go back to my dad. Now I just skip forward to when we have to fight Roxanne. So I literally only have Ember and Focus Energy and Tackle and terrible moves. And I probably reset this battle 30, 50 times, maybe more. To a point where I just thought, okay, maybe this challenge isn't even possible, you know. But to my surprise, we actually end up getting some good RNG eventually. I mean, this, this battle took forever, let's be honest. Three rock-type Pokemon versus a fire-type Pokemon with fire moves. I, I'm super weak against rock. What am I supposed to do? Uh, I, I barely make it to the nose pass. Like, it's very rare. I, I restart so many times. But eventually, we get a run where I actually defeat the Geodudes because they just keep using terrible moves or missing. Yeah, as you can see, I really pick up the pace here. So I get to a point where uh, I'm trying to just keep my health as high as possible for those pass so I can actually survive a hit maybe two and this goes on for a while I basically just get in the mindset if I don't burn it I'm resetting and you know eventually I burn and I take it out I have 27 health left eh, not too shabby so I save there now I have a little more than eh, just about half my health and I'm going up against the nose pass so basically, I just keep resetting until they miss their rock tomb. 
and, or just keep using Harden. One of the two. If they just keep doing that, it's fine by me. So yeah, if they if I don't get a burn though, then I just reset. That's usually that was just my strategy. If I don't burn, it's a reset. Ten percent burn. So I'm doing pretty good with this part. And I'm thinking, do I block? Do I or not block? Do I growl and just try to get their attack down as much as possible so I can possibly survive just a couple hits? They start doing tackle instead of rock throw. So this is where I really go at it and I just hope for the best. And I hit another growl and burn finally takes our nose pass. And I actually um, get another level and I'm level 17 now. And that's actually an issue because now that I'm level 17, um, I'm going to evolve and I'm not going to learn double kick. I'm just going to evolve. And, but now the level cap's 19, so that's pretty nice. And I have a Combuskin. Also, the Combuskin GIF kind of messed up, but it's fine. It's not going to be a Combuskin forever, you know? So, yeah, I had to deal with that annoying gym leader. Like, look at the videos. The gym leader took up, like, four minutes. Next up is Brawly. Um... I mean, I had to reset a couple times. Not too surprised, though. I mean, I didn't have double kick. All I had was Ember, and I was just hoping for the best. But uh, Pyro, the Combuskin, doing its thing. He's really beating stuff up. Most of the time, the strategy is just Ember, get a crit. Actually, no, no, no. What am I talking about? Just hit Peck. Peck is super effective. Um, the only issue is it's not that strong a move, but, you know, I definitely, this gym battle was one of the harder ones as well, but I mean, once I got past Roxanne, it wasn't really an issue. It was just, can I get some good RNG, yes or no? Most of the time it was no, but hopefully it was looking up. I finally got a burn on this Makuhita, growl it a couple times. And then it hits me for some decent damage, but I'm doing fine. I just keep growling it, get its damage down. I'm just above half right now, and it's burnt. So the burn damage is taking it away slowly. Um, now I, my orange berry activates, so I take I get my health back a little bit. Then I use Peck, and. It just gets into red, so then it gets back with a super potion. I hit it with another pack, and hopefully Burn should take it out. Yep, Burn takes it out, and I finally beat Brawly. So, that battle, tough one as well, which is making the likeliness of this battle, like or like of this run, realistic? Not at all, let's be honest. Um, next up, one of the most hated battles, one of the most difficult may on the bike path um it doesn't help that she has lombre and also marsh stomp but as you can see i top bulk up to pyro and that really just boosted our chances i got my shot my stats all the way up then just peck through everything uh, that's pretty much it pretty easy battle level caps 24 though and i'm cutting it close because i just hit 24 and i still have to go through the gym so i'm taking everything one step at a time okay that's my plan so after i heal up because i really just didn't want to die that'd be embarrassing to lose a run right there i actually tried doing the gym battle like 50 times maybe more than roxanne and i could not win so i I was thinking, what do, what's my strategy? What's my strategy? And I thought, I need to get the flamethrower TM. So I went to the slots and just started running them down, hope, hoping I could get enough. And I mean, I'm winning. And basically, I just do that until I get enough for the flamethrower TM. And that took so long. And then I'm running through more bad runs where flamethrower doesn't do enough and... 
Uh, the Voltorb uses self-destruct, and I'm just low on HP. And, you know, it's just all about RNG. When can I get a good lucky roll? Um, but Flamethrower, I don't think this battle would have been possible without Flamethrower, so I'm so glad the Mallville Game Center was there. Game Corner, whatever they call it. Because this actually gave me a chance. And I was trying a couple things. I was trying with an Orin Berry. And I was trying with a Chesto Berry in case I got paralyzed. Which did happen a couple times. But. You know I'm just trying. But as you can see my EXP was like. Just at the end before I hit level 25. So I just barely made a level cap this time. I actually accidentally went over. And I had to go back and backtrack. Um, to a previous save file. Just to make sure I was under 24 or under 25 I mean and yeah so still this battle took forever and I was trying all sorts of new things I taught my uh I taught pyro rock tomb that didn't help too much I can see the speed insane like this took forever every little battle mattered this was that was finally a good run but I lost it there honestly I think for my next video, I'm going to try and get these even shorter and just show the successful runs and really try to just do a tally count of how many attempts, how many resets do I really need. But as you can see, this run's looking really great already. I still have 75% of my health and I'm just beating, I beat up Electric in one hit and Magneton goes down in one hit. Minetrix left. Um, I try, I hit a rock tomb. I get its speed to fall. Uh, it uses howl. I use another rock tomb. It uses a super potion. I use another rock tomb. And luckily, I hit every single rock tomb, even with, I believe, 80% accuracy. So that was insane for me. Finally glad that I beat that gym because now we get access to our first team member. Finally. And our first other team member is... A new mole that uh, is very vital to our team. I mean, it's ground typing. It'll be great for all the other gyms. And honestly, it's just nice to have another team member because we're we're this close to over leveling on every gym. If we can honestly even beat the gym, the gyms are like pretty typed against us. Not like we're super effective and. Yeah, it's nice that we have another team member. Honestly, Numa would have been great before, so we could use his ground type against Electric, but it's just the way it goes. So what do we name Numa? See if you can figure out the theme for this video's nickname. It's pretty obvious. We name it Fuego. Fuego the Numa. And I will go to the Game Center a bunch this video and just go and get tons and tons of the Flamethrower TM. So Numa now knows Flamethrower. And as you can see, it takes out a level 18 Numal with its flamethrower TM. So good thing we taught it that. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just grinding and just getting Numal up as much as I can. Honestly, it's it's pretty good to have another team member, especially for this next gym battle. We're going to be versing a fire type trainer, so the ground typing will be so helpful for us. Uh... But yeah, every every team, uh, every trainer goes down pretty easily. No issues. It's just quite a process to go train all these Pokemon up. But luckily, after this uh, mountain trainer, we will have another encounter. So our team member, our team has tripled just after one um, gym battle. It's crazy. So basically, we're looking for a specific Pokemon, and here it is, Torkoal, the pure fire type turtle fire Pokemon. Um, yeah, it's pretty great that we have another member. Torkoal's the tank, let's be honest. Its defense is just so high. It's definitely going to take some good hits for us, and a great team member and we really need more of those right now especially for this next gym battle we're going into a fire type it's going to be pretty difficult and the, 
Um, Flannery's ace is uh, camera up with Earthquake, which can one one hit KO literally anyone on our team. But now that we have Torkoal, we should do pretty fine. And of course, we got to give Torkoal another themed name. So we named Torkoal Bonfire. Kind of just a big bonfire. It's got the smoke coming out. I thought it was close enough. Okay. So now we have two Pokemon to train up. We have Numal and Torkoal. Fuego and Bonfire. And honestly, it's, it's a process to get them all up. I mean, especially with some of the Pokemon we face. Like this Whalemer. Ooh. Bonfire took a pretty heavy hit, but Bonfire is pretty strong. Yeah, Bonfire's Body Sam definitely carried us for a lot of our battles. But, uh, yeah, we got a TM from this guy's Secret Power. We don't really use that much. But, so our team right now, Combuskin, Numal, and Torkoal all together. What a team. We're actually going to get a fourth member soon, so now our team has quadrupled just in after one battle if, if literally i think the run would be 10 times easier if we would have got one of these before the third gym or even the second gym if we would have just gotten one more fire type but that's just how it goes it's fine um there's a couple times where i'm just standing around not doing anything so let's just explain this video more. Um, the level cap after 29 is going to be 31, so it's a pretty short level cap. Then it's 33, so again, we're only four levels difference from there. And for the seventh gym, now we actually have a little room to work with at uh, 42 for the level cap. So that'd be nice, but we'll have a lot more to train. And then lastly, for the last gym, 46 but yeah right now we're just getting the berries and beating up trainers so we can get more experience it's pretty pretty swell so my question is do you guys want to see me do another emerald nuzlocke or do you want me to see me do a, another one another nuzlocke of another game because I really enjoy playing these games. The videos, putting it together, is a lot more work than I expected. But honestly, it's not too bad. I know this commentary is going to be sort of meh. But it's okay. This was a really tough challenge. I'll try to make a script. All of this is just off my head, if I'm being honest. But I'll try to have a script for a future video. But here we go. Here's our next encounter. Slugma. Which is actually what our what uh, our rival had. May she had a slugma. So we're just smogging this slugma until we get in it in the yellow. We use a great ball and we get it. Funny thing about the slugma is we are not going to keep it on the team long. And you might be saying, why would you not keep this on the team long? It's a fire and rock type, which is another dual typing we need. But I'll tell you why. Because we literally just found a shiny one. Unintentionally, we found a shiny Slugma. As you can see, I'm pretty just in shock. Uh, I'm very surprised. But this shiny Slugma, it's going on the team. I called the one Slugma that was regular Lava, but I didn't rename the uh, shiny one that. I gave it a brand new name. But yeah, I used Yawn, and then I used Pokeball. So now we have a Shiny Slugma. And what do we name it? What do we name it? We got a special name. Arson. Arson for the Slugma. Only problem is Slugma is so weak. Its defense is so bad. So it really doesn't do much. But for this uh, gym, it's really just reset. Because the issue is most of our Pokemon are male. And so we're just getting attracted, like, when I say most of our, I mean, our entire team is male. But we're getting attracted from camera up, so we really got to watch out for that. <sighs> but 
bonfires taken out slowly. We're just trying to, I'm kind of trying to come up with a better strategy when I get to the gym. And honestly, it's just the RNG sometimes where do I hit a track or, or do I make it past a track or not? And most of the time it's not. And when I do, it's not that great. But here we go. We should have a good run coming up soon. So here we go. I poison the camera up and I just whittle it down. You know, I switch in between all my Pokemon and then it's Torkoal and I die. So there's a reset because obviously I don't want the run to be over. I know we can do it without losing anyone, which is pretty rare. But I, I know we need all our team members for future battles. So, yeah, we're doing the same strat. It's just we got smog on bonfire, so we're just trying to poison the camera up. And there's another poison, so what's our plan? We're going to bulk up and hit a rock tomb to knock it out. Rock tomb on the Torkoal, and that's a knockout for that. Now we're just doing more battles. Training up our Pokemon. It's pretty, pretty easy. Going back down, healing our Pokemon. Uh, I went in here, but then I went out because I was like, what am I doing? None of the fire type. Um, Arson tried to land a move. Nobody really cares. You're not landing that move. Um, just looking around for items and stuff. Pretty simple stuff. Um, just getting experience for the team. Level cap's now 31, so... Everybody's got a little work to do. And we're actually versing my dad now for the next gen. So normal type. So we kind of got to plan around that. Yeah, I need to be I need to be a little more intentional with when I train my Pokemon. I feel like I don't heal them up enough and like I'm kind of getting it close, but it's fine. Okay, so I go off and I do all this stuff. Speeding it up a lot. Um, I go back down around all the way. Fight this double battle that I couldn't before because I didn't have two Pokemon. Back to my dad's gym. Verse all the trainers there. It's pretty easy. They're just normal types. I try to get Arson to do a lot of damage there. But uh, he's so weak. Like There's not much I can do. And I'm basically going, doing every battle, healing, just trying to get everyone to level 31. If not, just a little smidge over with the EXP, not the 32, but just to fill up the bar. And then after I beat them all, I heal up and I go see my dad. And then, honestly, it didn't take too many resets. Um, Let's just see what happens. So... Obviously, it's just a team full of normal types. So, I if I had double kick right now on my Combuskin, that would have made this battle 10 times easier. But, uh, Flamethrower on all my Pokemon made it just as easy, I'd say. Um, obviously, I'm playing on set mode as per the hardcore Nuzlocke and new items. I guess I should mention that. So... Yeah, there's no items. And basically what I do for the slacking is I hit Flamethrower on there. It's true in turn and when it's loafing and protect on its real turn. And I just keep going in between that. And it heals and I make it out and it heals and I burn it. Hyper Potion. It's fine. I just go through that whole process. And it finally dies and I beat it. So real easy battle. Then I have to deal with Wally stuff, but eh, not too difficult. Got the T or the HM for Surf. Then I have to go deal with the weather. As you can see, I have a little HM buddy because none of my Pokemon can learn Surf. the The Team Aqua is a little issue, I guess. They're not too bad, honestly. Rock Tomb kills most of them if Flamethrower doesn't. Uh, yeah, I did have an issue where, of course, it howls and my Lanoon goes out, but I just switched it out. I think nothing happened. It's not an important battle, anyways. 
And just get all my Pokemon up to level 33. That's my plan. 32 is pretty good, though. And, of course, the next gym is a flying-type gym. Another... Um, that's another type that's uh, super effective against us. So, like, that's already two types that have been super effective against us. <sighs> that's a lot. But, yeah, we got a cast form, and this is actually our fifth member. And you might be saying, cast form? That's a normal type. Okay, well, if you use Sunny Day, then it's a fire type. And we get to some battles where we even need to be cheeky with it. So, yeah, I can see I just grind up. I grind it up so much. And, yeah, then I do some of the gym battles, and now we have the gym. So I use Sunny Day, and it boosts all my fire type moves. So I use Sunny Day again. Of course, the Sunny Day goes away the one time I use one thrower. So I go back. I'm actually doing pretty well here, so I'm trying to think. What do I need to switch into? I switch into Bonfire. I get the burn. I start doing Protects. And just, I know she's going to heal in a minute. So I just switch out to Camera. And it actually dies. So I think, okay, I'll just do Flamethrower. And Flamethrower again. And boom. Look at that. Wasn't even, oh. My. Oh, wait. I think one of my Pokemon died. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, um, if one of my Pokemon die, I literally just reset the run because they're all too vital to lose. Even Cast Form, even Slugma, even Torkoal. They're all too important. But yeah, that one Pokemon survived on 1 HP. It was pretty impressive. Um, I even, I think I check in a second. Look at that. 1 HP. And everyone else is pretty hard. But that was some pretty good RNG right there. So, yeah, now I was training up my Pokemon and Pyro's evolving and also Numo evolved on the way. I kind of just forgot to get the footage of that. So, yeah, Pyro evolved. Good job. Now we actually have a Blaziken. The little animated GIF looks great. Uh, just learned Blaze Kick, but Flying Throw is actually better than Blaze Kick because of accuracy. So I just keep that. Then we got our last member of the team, Volpix, another pure fire type. So we have two pure fire, a fire ground, and a fire rock in firefighting. Actually, three pure fire if you include cast form. So yeah, we are very vulnerable to a specific type. It shouldn't be that hard to guess it. The champion's type and the eighth gym leader's type. But uh, we name Vulpix Fui Renard, which is French for Firefox. So I thought that was pretty cool. My girlfriend actually takes French, or she took French. So she helped me with that. My uh, Slugma evolved. Our shiny, shiny lava boy. He's now purple. So that's pretty cool. So we've got the whole team evolved. I evolved uh, Vulpix as well. And here's the plan, okay? Basically, just don't die and confuse and hit solar beam all the rock type ones any of the rock type pokemon i just try to hit solar beam as much as i can and honestly i do pretty good i switch out when i need to i do everything i have to i hit flamethrower and i burn it i just i do the whole shebang and i beat it just like that so not too shabby that was the seventh gym leader done now we have one more gym leader. We deal with all the Team Magma and Aqua stuff. I just cut that out. You've seen it. You know, we had to go after Groudon, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and Kyogre fighting, and we had to go get Rayquaza. Okay, now we're on the eighth gym leader, and let's be honest, the whole team was kind of a wipe with Solar Beam. Only issue is that Kingdra, and as you saw, I had to be real cheeky with it real cheeky i had to use pelipper because you had to surf over there so one of our pokemon needed no surf and kind of used it as death bait but i'm saying it's fine because i couldn't use one of my members um also my elite four footage literally corrupted so we only have drake 
So, and similar thing where it just oozed dragon types and, you know, dragon types are strong, but luckily our fire types, they just pulled through. But let's be honest, the first three battles were super easy. A dark team with, a, with half the team being grass type, that was an easy sweep. A ghost team, which just got flamed, and an ice team, which just got melted. And I'm sorry that footage got corrupted. It was pretty um, embarrassing for me to not have that. But yeah, we beat Drake pretty easy after a couple resets, let's be honest. Everyone's pretty damaged. We save. Now we have the big battle. And as you can see, this run's not possible. I had to get all my Pokemon up to level 65 in order for them to just stand a chance. I mean, the entire water type team, this is ridiculous. Yeah, so basically, at this point, it was just wipe everyone out with Thunderbolt on Cast Swarm. And, you know, that way we actually won. But we had to cheek, like, the 8th gym and the champion. Because they're literally pure water types. But if you enjoyed this video, which would almost be surprising at this point, commentary is not that amazing. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like, share this video with a friend, and... You know, I'll try to have another video in a month, somewhere around there. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys later.